Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your custom URL in YouTube and claim a new one in 2020. Most of us are pretty much aware of the fact that we can claim a custom URL when we reach the 100 subscriber threshold. But most of us are not aware that after we've claimed our first custom URL after reaching the 100 subscriber threshold, we can claim another I mean, even multiple times, we can remove that custom URL and edit it and, you know, get a new uh, custom URL, you know. Why is this important? For example, my YouTube channel was initially called Minikun Tutorials and Minikun, sorry, Minikun Health Tutorials. And to me, this was okay for some time, but I later realized that it was too long as a name. You know, so instead of having Minikun Health Tutorials, I rather prefer Minikun Tutorials. And besides, what I'm currently showing you, you know, today has nothing to do with health. This is just something I discovered and decided to share with you. So I didn't want to be limited strictly to health tutorials. Initially, my channel was all about uh, medical and paramedical tutorials, as well as um, public health related topics like epidemiology, biostatistics, data science, you know, using R, Excel, and what have you, SPSS, this is what I do on my channel. But today I saw the need to share with you how to custom my, I mean, to custom your, or how to, to, to claim a new custom URL in YouTube. So without wasting my time, let me show you how to do it. As I'm in YouTube, I have to log into my account of course so i just simply click on sign in on top here and then i'll sign into my youtube account so now after i've signed into my youtube account okay first of all i'll show you your custom url where it is found you know in your channel features or whatever so I will show you in the settings how you should, how you can find or even uh, claim a new custom URL if you do not already have a custom URL, you know. So, and after that, I'll remove, I'll show you how to remove your custom URL if you already have it. And I'll show you how to what, claim a new custom URL. So now that I've logged into my YouTube account, I simply have to click over here. Sorry. I have to click on my profile picture icon here of my YouTube account on top here, my Google account. So if I should click here and then I will go down and select settings, you know, so when you hit on settings, it will bring you here, as you can see. So when it brings you here, let me show you fully, as you can see, um, What do you do next? When it brings you here, you simply click on my account, as you can see on my account, my account or account here. And then when you come over here, you click on channel status and features. Okay, so when you click here, what happens? YouTube will take you over here to your channel uh, status and features. And as you can see, we have several features you know that some of them you are eligible some of them you are not eligible so let me highlight it so that you, i mean let me zoom it so as you can see over here we have what custom url and this is my current custom url initially i was using minikun health tutorials but as I, like i said i decided to change it to simply minikun tutorials but you realize that Anytime you are, let's say, if already you don't have a custom URL, you were not already having a custom URL and you've reached the 100 subscriber threshold, you want to claim your custom URL, here's where you come, as you can see. So you just find here eligible custom URL, you find something like eligible, and then you click on it, and now you create your custom URL. Now, if you are already having a custom URL like me and you want to claim a new custom URL, the procedure is pretty much different and difficult because 
you cannot hear if i should click on this link it will simply open my youtube account and that's not what i want to do i want to what create a new custom url neither can i remove this one here you see it so i'll now show you how to remove this custom url here okay so to remove this custom url just open uh, you know your browser as you can see and then you you go to this website you have a choice um I will, I will actually leave the i mean the website in the description it's just your google account personal info website there's a, a simpler way of doing it if you don't want to enter the url i'll show you how to do it you simply write type in here in your browser you write google account account and hit enter okay you see it has brought me here so there are several options you have google account what and what and what you ignore everything make sure you select my account so that you open your my google account that's what you need so you click on my account and then it brings you here so when it brings you here what do you do you simply click back here and then you have you you come over here so you have the choice if you don't want to uh, click on my account and then do this and do that then you, you simply you could just simply what uh, go straight to this website that you are, that is displayed here or better still let me write it for you you can go to uh, let me write it for you but i think this this is pretty much simple just write as we did google ac google account you click on my account and it brings you here you click back from the language and it takes you here it brings you here if you don't want to do this another way you can simply do it is what i will show you now you just type in this url my account dot google dot com slash personal info info you have the choice so you could either i'll leave this url in the description box so you could either go to this website straight away or you just google a google account then you click on my account then you go it will open to your google account you go back from languages and you have all your account features so if i should hit enter it's the same thing you see it has brought us here or you do the initial process so it's the same thing so now when you get over here what do you do you click on personal info in your google account you click on personal info and then you come over here you see that we have your profile you have, uh, look at my profile picture and then you have your name your date of birth and what have you you know and then you have for instance contact info everything and then you still go down and click on about me it's very important so you click on about me and when you click on about me you know you have everything about me my dob and what i view my contact info and whatever that you may want to know now more importantly this is your custom url over here in your google account you see it so this is my full custom url is what youtube.com slash channel slash minikun tutorials now if i want to remove this i simply have to click on this place and select remove i will not do it because i don't have to remove my custom url if i should i do it you know like i will have to go go again go into my my facebook page my instagram and all the social media platform and change the custom url you know so i don't want to do that it's cumbersome but all you need to note is that 
here's where you 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 change your you remove your custom url sorry so after you have removed your yes click on remove and you remove it after you've removed your existing or current custom url you can now go to where we were you go to your channel features and then create a new custom url but i will not remove it so now after you, you just you just click here and you remove it and now you come back here so you simply we can go back here as i showed you or if you if you have forgotten how we came here i will show you how to come back here so you if you want let's just open a new browser go to youtube make sure you are signed in you click on your channel icon here you get down and click on settings when you click on settings you come over here and come and select account make sure you have clicked on account then you come back here and click on what uh, channel status and features when you click here what happens it will bring you back here so over here you have your custom url if i had removed it then it wouldn't have appeared here you have just uh, seen down here eligible custom url you are eligible then you just click on it and create your new custom url it's very simple so this is how to remove your or custom url and create a new custom url in youtube in the year 2020 who knows this might be if youtube ha uh, happens not to change do a lot of changes maybe even in subsequent years this might work but this is how we do it in 2020 if you find i mean if you find this video helpful please remember to subscribe in order not to miss uh, more interesting tutorials on mini tutorials and also like it if you really like it and also leave your comments and remarks thank you so much and once again please subscribe